When I went to college, my interest in uh, television was more uh, sociological than um, the entertainment part, and I made documentaries in college. And at one point, I had a, 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 an opportunity to go work on 60 Minutes as a producer, but I veered in a different direction. But I was always interested in the power of television and its impact. One documentary I made with my brother was a uh, documentary about the life of Robert Flaherty. And Robert Flaherty was the first documentary filmmaker. He made um, a number of movies, the most famous being Nanook of the North. And this was uh, a story really told through his wife's eyes, who at the time was in her early 90s and living in Vermont. The documentary actually got very good reception. It's part of the Museum of Modern Art's permanent collection. But what I, what I remember is the difficulty he had difficulty he had in the in I guess it was in the early 20s making a documentary. He went up to Hudson Bay to make a documentary about these Eskimos, and of course they'd never seen a motion picture camera, and he developed the the uh, uh, film right there. So. Uh, he, he would tell this story, which he had passed away, but his wife re retold the story about uh, the first time he uh, uh, showed a scene to Nanook and, and the other Eskimos, and he put up a screen in this igloo, and it was a scene of Nanook spearing a walrus, and when the motion picture projector started and they saw this uh, scene on the igloo, everybody in the room ran up to the uh, screen to help Nanook spear the walrus. <laughs> So it was sort of a it was a very interesting way of getting involved in in the 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 better part of making movies. This was I mean he was obviously doing something that was very special. So I I think I learned early on that that making something of quality was something that uh, would be uh, worthwhile. I made a documentary about uh, the uh, presidential campaign of Shirley Chisholm, and she was the uh, first. Uh, woman really to run seriously for president, and certainly the first black woman. And what made it interesting was that I really became very close to her and the style of documentary that I preferred was one where at some point the subject doesn't even realize there's a documentary being shot. So you, you get a very intimate uh, portrait of somebody. I produced a documentary uh, about uh, the life in Israel in the early 70s right after uh, there was it wasn't the Six-Day War, but there was another action like in the early 70s, and that was a very interesting documentary for me because I lived in Israel for a few months, and it was trying to be somewhat even-handed. I uh, interviewed a lot of Palestinians, and the goal was to try to articulate what Israel was like then as opposed to in 1948 or sometime in between.